This is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to do is talk about a method um, to enter the tree called foot locking. All right, let's get to it. I guess you could say that foot locking is one of the first stationary rope systems that tree climbers are used. So in the past what a, a tree climber would do is throw a rope over a branch and you'd have two lines and then what they'll do is they would grab the line and um, with their hands they'd hold their body weight up and their feet would go underneath. They would go around, step on the rope, and kind of inchworm their way up. Now climbers would go up to 60, 70 feet high. Back then, they weren't secured in. They would just get on the rope and climb. You can imagine how dangerous that was. Um, what what happened? And I can't remember when they started doing a secured footlock, but they turned it into a secured footlock where they get an English pressic loop and they'll either tie a clem heist or an English pressic. That would be tied to the rope, the double line, and then the other part with a carabiner tied to your belt or a clip. It could be a carabiner or a clip, depending on how you tie your loop. Um, then it became the secured footlock system. Some climbers can really go up a tree very quick in that manner. Um, so what we're going to do today is that Noah's going to show how to do the secured footlock with an English pressic. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to do it with the rope wrench. So this is the Clem Heist and this is one of the knots that you can use. So in the past what they would do is just throw the rope over and say, and if it was a big branch, what you would have is a big separation. So in the past, when you would move your knot up, when you got to something, if it was a large branch, it could separate your knot. So the, the other end would be tied to you if you got up to something like this and then you rested your body, this knot could run on you. So um, to, to alleviate that, what they started to do is using a alpine butterfly to, to, to make the knot go, uh, I mean the rope go closer. I'll show you how to do that. So you'll tie your butterfly and then uh, you'll get the other end of the rope. I'll get it because I can get this guy a big end. And you'll put it through. So now what it happens is when you go up, now the butterfly keeps it close together. So now I'll, I'll show you how to tie this clem heiser. So what, what I'll do is I'll start with the top and then I'll go three wraps downward. One, two, three and now from there what I'll do there's a bite on top here and now I'll feed the bottom through this bite and I'll capture it all right get make sure it's tied dress and set give it a test all right okay now this is a one directional knot right it's not meant to go up and down the line so if if they were foot locking and it was a large limb and they were doing in this method there wouldn't be a separation less chances of you when you rest for this knot to slide either this or an english pressic so um once someone got to the top what you would have so you would be you'd be tied in with your loop right here so you're tied in and now once you get to the top if you got to the top what you normally do is tie into your regular system but say um, you were you went up and then you were just going to come right back down, you, this knot you, you know is not meant to just to descend. So you would get a figure eight, and you'll to put the install your figure eight. You make a bite in your line. You put both parts of the rope through your figure eight, 
and then you you put it through you get your carabiner hang on let me get this lower okay all right and now you get your carabiner put it through your figure eight connect it to your belt okay once you got your figure eight on now you would grab your 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 uh, climbing knot, your clem heist. You'll hold your figure eight, and then with your with this hand, you would let yourself down. And this is what's gonna keep you stable. So uh, Noah's gonna show us how to do the the footlock method with a pressic loop, and then I'll do it with a rope wrench system. Okay. So we already have the clem heist tied in on the rope. So Noah's going to connect that pressic loop to his saddle with a carabiner. And we get girth hitched it so the carabiner won't side load. That's important. Okay, so now what he'll do is he'll... Oh yeah, we also have a figure eight on a bite. That's meant to hold the two lines together. So when you're foot locking, they don't separate. It makes it a lot easier. So he'll grab one foot and then with the other he'll wrap it and he'll stand and he'll proceed up the tree in that way. So each time he steps he'll move up the tree. And then he'll push his line on each step. Now he'll move over to the branch. Now at that point, that's where he would, if he was going to climb the tree, he would just um, change over to his regular climbing system. But today what we're going to do is he's just going to get a figure eight. He's going to put it on his line and then he's going to descend back down. Secure himself with his lantern just to make sure he don't slip. He's going to make a bite, put it through the large hole. Of the figure eight. So once he gets that bite through the large hole of the figure eight, he's going to hook um, around the smaller, um, the smaller hole and then he'll connect the carabiner there you go He hooks it, he's going to double check that it's connected right. He'll grab his clem heist knot. But first he'll undo his lanyard, then he'll, after he does the lanyard and stows it away, he'll grab the clem heist knot. And with his other hand, he'll manage his friction with uh, the figure eight. So now he'll, he'll come down. So what he's going to do is manage the friction with the figure eight. So the clem heist is a one direction knot. The reason you use the figure eight is so um, it wouldn't let loose on you and you slide down. All right. So I'll attempt to do it here with the, the rope wrench. Um, you could also... Um, footlock if you had a rope runner or a kimbo even like a hitchhiker um, the only difference is if um, 
you wouldn't be using a, a senders you'd just be using a foot lock and it's a single line all right so here we go Oops. There. There you go. Boy, that takes a lot out of you. So the difference is now once you get up to the top, you don't have to retire anything. You can just use your system the way it is. <clears throat> there we go. Snug up your line and then go ahead and go back down. There we go. Okay, so that was a footlock method. And the way that Noah did it, that's more of the traditional way. That's where you throw the rope over a branch and you tie a butterfly knot on the top, just in case it's a large branch, so it doesn't separate the, the ropes, where if you were to get close, your clam heist or English press, it could separate and slide on you if you put your weight on it. Um, also having that uh, pressic loop girth hitch to a carabiner so your carabiner doesn't um, roll on you. And another point to the traditional method there is on the bottom, if you put a figure eight on a bite, it keeps the two lines um, together on the ground. So as you do your foot lock, the ropes don't separate and makes it a little bit easier for you to do. Um, and then the way that I uh, did it with the rope wrench, um, that's more of a kind of a hybrid method. And you could do it with any of the um, stationary rope systems. You just wouldn't be using your your foot ascender um, also I kind of cheated I I switched out boots the first boots I had were just the leather ones so I got these put these boots on they had a little bit of rubber it made it a lot easier for me totally way out of shape and I really don't do foot locking I really love the sanders like I said anyhow if you're gonna do this kind of stuff or anything that's brand new to you remember to work low and slow hope you guys enjoyed that video comment like and subscribe if you like what we do hit that notification bell and if you know people who like tree care stuff um, share our videos take care